guys, I'm back with another Pinspired video where I take a thing that I saw on Pinterest and I'm interested in doing and I try it out myself on camera. Uh, I've done a couple in the past, you guys seem to really like them, so I thought I'd continue. Today I want to share uh, how I'm going to make a DIY coffee scrub. And this is a body specific scrub, uh, much like um, my favorite kind of scrub. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. It's something I use in the shower maybe about three times a week. And it just helps keep my skin kind of supple and soft. And what I like about it is it is an exfoliant, but it's also got moisturizing properties. And that's what I'm going for with my DIY scrub. I absolutely love coffee scrubs. The ones that I've tried, I just love the smell of coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker myself, but I do love the smell of it and it's so invigorating. I'm a morning shower person. It's just so nice to have a coffee scrub um, in your shower, kind of wake you up in the morning and it's just great. Now coffee does have properties that are beneficial for um, tightening and toning the skin and the main thing is caffeine. Um, there have been some studies here and there, there's kind of differing opinions, but that it can mostly temporarily reduce the appearance of cellulite. Now I have used coffee scrubs in the past, doesn't make a huge difference. Honestly, I haven't paid that much attention because I don't, don't care that much about that part of it. I just like the way that it smells and feels on my skin. Um, but caffeine can be good to kind of wake up your skin. Um, but then there are other parts of the coffee scrub recipe that are also beneficial for skin. Um, and the other two main ingredients that I found were an oil-based product, you know, some, something to give it that moisturizing quality, and then a sugar product for exfoliating properties. So the oil I'm choosing today is a coconut oil. It's got so many health benefits. It soothes the skin. It's got fatty acids and vitamin E that just help nourish and protect the skin and it's supposed to be really good skin conditioner. Uh, and then I'm also using brown sugar which um, has glycolic acid in it which helps to turn over the skin. It's good for skin um, cell regeneration. And so the combination of all those three ingredients I think make for a really good healthy skin pick-me-up. Uh, so I thought I'm going to take you through. I'm going to show you all the ingredients I have here and we'll go through step by step. I've never done this before. I'm trying it with you guys. That's the whole point of this series that we just try things that people like to pin and make look so beautiful and easy with their gorgeous photos. Let's try it ourselves. So like I mentioned, there's really three main ingredients for this. It's very simple. We've got our coconut oil, we've got our coffee, and we've got our brown sugar. Now I've read that using fresh coffee as opposed to used coffee grounds will just pack a, a better punch in the caffeine department and it will give your skin more of a pick-me-up. Whereas used grounds, I've already been, the caffeine has already been taken. So basically it's up to you, but I'm choosing to use fresh grounds for the full effect. Um, and then obviously I've got brown sugar. Of course you need a bowl and some sort of spatula and then I also have my coffee grinder and some measuring cups and then some containers to put the finished product in. I wasn't, wasn't sure which would fit so I have an empty um, scrub container here and this is an empty lotion container. This is plastic that's glass or you could also get really cute little jars and make like a little gift out of it um, which I think is really sweet. I also did pick up this oil from Whole Foods. Uh, it's a kukui oil, because I thought um, what I really like about the Tree Hut scrubs is just how emollient they are. They're just so, they've got so much oil in them that it just really, really feels very nourishing. So I thought maybe if I wanted to go a little bit more with the moisturizing part, I could add a little bit of that in, because kukui is really known for its moisturizing, deep moisturizing properties, as it says on the bottle there. So um, let's get started mixing. So I'm going off about four recipes that I found on Pinterest. And they kind of all vary in um, you know measurements with the, kind of around the same ingredients. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it. And it's anywhere between a half a cup and a cup of coffee. And I don't want to make a ton just in case, you know, it doesn't, it's not something I absolutely love. I'd rather just you know, try a smaller amount. So I'm gonna start with a half a cup. Um, and I'm going to grind up a half a cup of coffee. Alright, 
Let's have a look. That looks pretty awesome. So I just got a little bowl out here and I'm going to unplug this and put my coffee in there. Okay, so now I've got all my ingredients prepped because I also went ahead and I heated up my coconut oil until it was liquid, not boiling, just liquid, and then I've let it cool. Um, so I've got everything kind of in the state that's best for mixing. So I'm gonna start with my half a cup of coffee grounds, and this is a quarter cup of coconut oil that I heated up, like I said, so it was in liquid state. Get that all in there. Bring this a little closer for you guys. And then lastly, with the sugar, I'm going to start with a quarter cup. That way I can add in more as necessary. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. So I'm just going to tuck that over the side and simply mix together. This is not, you know, rocket science here. Um, it's going to be pretty dark in color because it's coffee and brown sugar, you know. Um, but goodness, does it smell good. It really, really does. So I'm guessing we just kind of want to get this all incorporated. Now, it's looking pretty, like a pretty good consistency, actually. I wonder if I want to add just a little bit more brown sugar. There's just so much coffee in there. Yeah, I'm going to put in another quarter cup of brown sugar. So I'm up to half a cup. Again, yeah, totally just weighing this based on kind of how I feel. Because I also, I want a little bit more um, of the exfoliant in there because I want to add a little bit of that kukui oil. Because I think it's just going to add a really nice moisturizing punch to the whole kit and caboodle. This is making a lot. Now coconut oil is also got a really long shelf life, so it's good to make with a scrub that might take you a little while to get through. Or you could like break this up into little jars like I showed and um, you know give it to your friends or loved ones and, and have in that way, you know, use it up faster I guess. I'm just going to put in one tablespoon of this kukui oil because I don't want it to get too liquidy. Mmm, that made it smell even better. <laughs> Just make sure it's nice and incorporated. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's do a little, um, oh, there's just a little bit of brown sugar. Let's do a little finger test. Ooh, it's very fine. Wow. That feels nice. I think I think I want to see how this goes in the shower. So I'm going to try this out over the next few days, and then I'm going to report back to you guys. Um, so let's put this in the jar. I have quite a bit, so I'm going to funnel it into here. This is one of my tree hut scrub pots that I saved, and just I took the label off and washed it out because um, it's just a nice size for the shower too, and I, I just you know it's easy to reach in. It's nice to kind of upcycle past containers you've already got on hand as well for these DIY projects. That kind of makes it more Pinterest worthy, doesn't it? <laughs> there it is, all done, ready to go in the shower. Like I said, I'm gonna road test this and then I will come back after I've given it uh, you know, a couple chances and I'll let you guys know what I think about this recipe. Okay guys, it's about a week later and I've had uh, several chances to test out my uh, DIY coffee scrub. You can see I made quite a dent in it. It's really, really nice and I'm very, very pleased with the recipe. Here are my notes. Uh, because I ground it in like a regular coffee grinder, um, it came out maybe even a little finer than coffee scrubs you would buy, you know, from a brand where maybe they're, the grind is like a little bit bigger, I would say. So this had like a finer grind. Um, 
And I did find that it was like a little bit harder to wash off the coffee scrub, but not like really hard, just maybe a little bit harder than any other scrub that I have bought from a, you know, a company before. Um, I found that the consistency was really nice. It was a nice scrubby texture without being too abrasive or not abrasive enough. It was a nice um, you know, middle of the road. Um, but I did find that it wasn't quite as oily as I thought. It, I thought it would be like a little bit more liquidy because I put all of that oil in. It really could have probably used maybe even another tablespoon of that special, um, I forget what the oil is called now, but that Hawaiian oil. I think it's the Kukui oil. I believe that's what it was. I probably would have put another tablespoon of that in here. But that being said, I did find this nicely moisturizing without leaving an oily residue. Um, it left my skin feeling very, very refreshed and, um, you know, moisturized. Uh, and it kind of held that nice, that nice feeling throughout the day. Also, I noticed that the scent, while pretty potent in the shower, didn't stick. Um, so I didn't feel like I smelled like coffee all day. It was just really nice aromatic experience in the shower and then it just kind of dissipated um, pretty quickly. But I really, really enjoyed it. It was fun to make. I'd love to try to make other variations. If you guys know other, like non, maybe non-coffee variations to try and have some fun Pinterest recipes or whatever you want to share, please leave me a comment below with the link. I'd love to check them out. And you can find step-by-step um, -step instructions. I'll have them on my coordinating blog post, which I will link below too, if you want to replicate this for yourself. Um, as you saw, it was super easy, very um, you know easy to get ingredients for the most part, especially if you don't use up like special Hawaiian oil. If you just use like a coconut oil, brown sugar, coffee, most people I feel like can get those things. Um, and pretty economically, considering how expensive coffee scrubs can be that you buy, you know, pre-made, they can be pretty pricey, but even pricier I've found than any other kind of variety of scrub, at least in my experience, that might not be across the board, but it's kind of a nice way to make something um, yourself on the cheap, and it's still a really nice product, and it's all ingredients you know and can trust. Uh, and also, like I said, I think this would be a really sweet little gift if you put it in little jars for family or friends, loved ones, a um, little pamper, pampering gift. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Pinspired edition, and I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take care. Bye.